I have a, a new block that I'm going to start carving of a water tower here in town. So I'm marking out the spots to carve out and the spots to leave solid so I don't accidentally carve out something I shouldn't. I referenced a good number of them, but the um, Hampton Station one is the one I'm more familiar with. They've got a lot of really, <clears throat> I mean, they're just old, so lots of texture, rust, um, just a lot of character. They've been spray painted, I'm sure, numerous times, and so being able to create that on a wood block would be really fun. So I'm gonna, <clears throat> this is gonna be the first block, which will be the, the outlining block that gives the definition, and then I'll have a few other blocks that give the color. And, um, and then I can play around with how that'll look. I'll have a proof today, um, but typically with most of them, it'll take about a week to two weeks to fine tune it and to get it exactly where I want it. So, oh, so this is the Furman Bell Tower um, over at Furman University on the lake. So this is a block I just finished carving and it actually has a colored block as well. So this is for the mountains, this is for the lake. And actually on the other side, I've got the sky and then the trees. So I was able to reuse this block because it's really thick. This wood, if you're carving, like I ran into this issue, you can get these pits that just characteristics of the wood and um, you just never know what to, what to expect with wood. It's very organic, so. Right downtown Greenville along the Reedy River, right behind the Peace Center Amphitheater. Um, or you can just search my name in Google or Apple Maps, Douglas Piper Art, or go to my website at douglaspiper.com.